Here's a catch-22. People unfortunate enough to have heart failure usually have insomnia, and they turn to sleeping pills. New research from Japan now suggests that sleeping pills dramatically increase the risk of cardiovascular events and heart failure patients. Wow. That's shocking. <laughs> and the main culprits are the benzodiazepine hypnotics, things like Valium and, and Restoril and Ambien, Lunesta, Sonata, and even Benadryl, all the things that we see advertised on television all the time. Yeah, well, a lot, that just shows you that not enough research is done prior to the time of using these things. To me, it's absolutely shocking that these drugs are used, these, hip, these sleeping pills are used when we have information like this. And it's not like it's new information. Well, We've known about really, this for years. The, the thing that's really scary, too, is that it increases these uh, cardiovascular events eightfold. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's, that's, right. that's really big. And when we're talking about cardiovascular events, we're talking about things like angina and, and what else? Uh, well, rhythm disturbances, heart attacks. Anything that can uh, cause malfunction to how the heart functions. And strokes. Well, absolutely. And so there's, there's data now that's fairly solid, but it's, it's not the only data that's around. We've had data for years that came out of other articles uh, that were from, a, a, from studies on adults and, uh, who were taking sleeping pills for insomnia. And Vicki, those results were really kind of shocking. And this was published in, in major journals, so it's not like it's something that's, that's uh, a, a big surprise. It was in the medical, British Medical Journal in February 2012. And they mentioned all these drugs in that study and said that they thought that if they looked at all the deaths that this could cause, based on this study, it would be 300 to 500,000 people a year in the U.S. alone. And these are our normal people who are having insomnia. Well, and they know that it has cardiodepressive effects, so uh -huh. it depresses your heart, mm -hmm. as well as your respiration. Mm -hmm. And if people also have, like, a sleeping disorder, yeah, sure. it can make that worse, too. Sure. If you have sleep apnea, it'll make it worse. The shocking thing to me was, is that if you just take 18 mm -hmm. pills, okay, <clears> per year, that's one and a half a month, the risk of getting into trouble is up, like, 300%. You're looking at a 360% so like one, increase in risk of dying. So like once a month you have trouble sleeping and you think, oh, I'll you just, pop a I'll just take a sleep something. Yeah, I'll just take a sleep exactly. until it's only once in a while. Exactly. But. And when you look at taking more than that, say you're taking as many as one every three days, which a lot of people do, the risk is up 530%. Now, wow. that should be enough to really get people's attention. Where's the FDA? Where are the doctors uh, in, in doing this sort of thing? And why aren't we doing what we need to when we have somebody who comes into, or when I have someone who comes into me as a patient and they say they can't sleep, my first thought isn't what can I do to suppress the symptoms? It's what are we going to do to help this person so they don't have this problem so much? Well, we have a lot of tips on insomnia on our website, drsaputo.com. So if you're interested in healthy suggestions for getting enough sleep, you might want to put that in the search box on our website. Exactly. So the take-home message is, is, yeah, we need to get our sleep. And if we don't, the risk for inflammation, uh, for adrenal insufficiency, for hypertension, osteoporosis, diabetes, cancer, et cetera, et cetera, and gaining goes weight. up. <laughs> uh, gain weight gain too. They all go up. So we need to find ways of dealing with why we have insomnia. And nearly always it's because of stress or pain or some kind of, of, of situation we can't resolve. So when you go to your doctor, make sure that you're not just getting a prescription for a sleeping pill. Do something that's aggressive to find out why you have the insomnia and take some kind of action that will solve it.